y'all welcome back to my channel okay so this is another review video i hope y'all don't mind and if you don't mind let's get your dance on way first things first if you are new here first off welcome thank you so much for clicking on this here video you get a dance okay you get a dance you get a dance all my old time subscribers y'all get the special dance okay but anyway black castor and flaxseed oil this is not eco this is shining jam and pro style how many of y'all remember that from back in the day Okay, I dropped this, so don't pay no mind. I'm like, it's like I never saw it. Anyway, it smells so good, okay? <laughs> it's like a very perfumey type of smell, very sweet smelling. You guys know I love sweet scents. The um, consistency is a lot like, um, like a lighter eco styler gel. So that's like the best way I could really explain. So I went ahead and washed my hair, deep conditioned, and all that good stuff. And we're going to go ahead and get started. Now, if you're new to this channel, I'm like team wash and go. I don't think I do anything else besides <laughs> wash and goes and pray. Okay. Amen. I'm praying right here. All right. I don't do anything really but besides wash and goes. That's just what I love to do is what works for me. And I noticed while doing wash and goes and reviews, um, a lot of people really want to learn how to master their wash and goes. But they're, you know, not there yet or they have problems. It took me a long time to get my wash and go down pat. But now that I got down pat, you know what I mean? I like to rock sit, okay, quite often. And so, I like to try different products because I do use Eco Styler Gel quite a lot. I want to switch up and try something that's going to work just for me. Now, off bat, y'all, this gel is the the gel is very very lightweight okay it looks like it's thick but as soon as it goes on it's not thick at all so if you like lightweight products this might be the product for you now as far as hydration i don't really feel like the moisture in this gel it's no shade to it um I, you know when i think of gel i really don't think of hydrating anyway so but when you see a black castor and flaxseed oil on the actual uh front of the packaging you, you're going to assume that it's going to be hydrating or it's going to give you your type of moisture it's not going to be drying or anything like that but it wasn't drying but it wasn't super hydrating because i do have something to compare it to that has the same ingredients um and this wasn't as hydrating or thick to have like black castor oil in it um but that's no like again there's no shade that's just my preference i prefer a thicker gel so if you like lighter gels and you you know you know we all different you know what i'm saying but um, as far as defining my hair, that was like one of the issues that I did not care for. I felt like I really had to go through my hair to really get that definition that I desire. Some areas are very difficult and I need to, you know, use extra time in that area no matter what product I use, even my favorite products. But this, I felt like I had to really, really work that product in for me to really like the results so i was just like you know what this may not work for me so we're gonna go for a different look because um i said in 2018 i was gonna be a little bit more positive and not so negative that's why you said prayed up i was gonna be like look we're gonna if it don't work all right we just gonna have it make you know we're gonna make it look like it's fit they hair you know no biggie right no biggie so yeah i wasn't too pleased with how it was defining my hair it just I, I, it's hard to explain but the one thing I did like was if I wanted the option to air dry, because I did for the most part, um, it gave me a super full wet look. So I like that because when I use Eco, my hair is super crunchy and I hate going outside like that. I mean, I, don't, I hate going outside with wet hair, period. But I knew I was going to have to air dry because this gel was so light. So yeah, I'll be back, y'all. I'll be back. So I came back when my hair was probably like, I want to say 75, 80% dry. And I just wanted to get my roots because my roots were like real trifling. You know how roots just be taking forever to dry, you know. Okay. <laughs> so I don't diffuse my hair. Um, you guys know that. I stopped. I do incorporate it from time to time depending on my look. But for this, I just kind of was like, you know, I'm not going to get that much definition. So I'm going to go ahead and just, just make it do what it do. You know, like we just going to go for the fifth day look on first day hair ain't nothing wrong with it right a little frizz they never hurt nobody so that is exactly what we're doing we're going for fifth day hair on first day um yeah so i'm just gonna finish drying my hair and then i'm coming back on this hair camera okay so stay tuned okay so believe it or not i actually like 
like it. <laughs> okay, it's, it has a lot of frizz, but I feel like it has a lot of character. <laughs> I just did the whole bang thing because I was watching my twin, AKA Finally Amber. She was doing a wig that had bangs, so it just was like, oh, you know, I would just a little inspiration to do some bangs. And then on top of that, I feel like it looked better with the frizz overall. So I will say <laughs> that my hair feels incredibly, incredibly soft. Bless God. It's like a hold, but it's, it's a very soft hold. Perfect for people who, you know, don't want to crunch, but want definition. I did not stretch my hair, so, you know, I did, get a lot of shrinkage with this product um, because it is such a light gel in my opinion shrinkage to me was kind of in inevitable because it's a lighter gel so it doesn't have that weight to it to hold your hair down so shrinkage is pretty much gonna win okay but i'm okay with that i think you know shrinkage creates a cute look that you might be going for Ooh, who said that who said that, who said that? Like this, you know, with the bangs and stuff. I think it's cute that it's, you know, shaped a certain way. I do want to, however, stretch my hair and see, without heat, but just stretch it to see how it's gonna do. I can tell you off the bat, off, off the bat, okay, I'm not gonna get second day hair because I do have so much frizz in my frizz prone area which is usually right here in the back i have a lot of frizz and it wasn't that much manipulation but right here i love how it looks oh but i'm gonna go ahead and stretch my hair by placing it up and just kind of twisting it what in the hell into like a bun I'm gonna see if I get any stretch in this way. So yeah, we gon' we gonna see. Um, I mean I have frizz galore, like yeah. So I'll be back. I'll be back. Alright, so it's been like um, between 15 and 20 minutes. I'm nervous because I feel like my hair is gonna be jacked up. Okay, it did stretch out this area. My hair is still damp. Dang. Wow, I got a whole bunch of stretch. Yeah. Uh, should just left it alone. I should have left it alone. The good thing is, the good thing is, the good thing is. Y'all see how I'm being positive? Okay, just want to make sure. Keep on watching. If I were to bring the bangs in the bag, <laughs> I don't know, but yeah. I think I missed that. I think I missed that whole that whole thing up. Yeah, um, we not gonna even attempt to act like this is cute. All right, y'all, so this is gonna be my final result. Um, so I really think if I just would've left it alone, I would've been okay, because the shrinkage really wasn't that bad. If y'all follow me, y'all know this is typically not the look that I would go for. I would like a little less frizz in on first day hair i for some reason really actually like the gel the fact that it's so lightweight and i did you know try to manipulate it by stretching it and putting it in a bun and even using the blow dryer in certain areas it still you know kept the curls and i do have a lot of frizz but that's just because this gel is very lightweight so you know my hair just prefers heavier gels because it just you know it weighs down my hair it gives me way more days it gives me way more definition but i would definitely try this if i know i'm going somewhere and i want my hair to be very full with minimal manipulation and i just re want really really big hair i don't care about the frizz i don't care about all that stuff i'm going to that gel now like i said like i dropped it or whatever so um you know uh, the, the the pink and stuff is all anyway I would definitely revisit this gel so and y'all know I don't really be doing no lightweight no lightweight gels so okay I don't like lightweight stuff if you just like big hair overall and you don't care about frizz 
but you may not want to pick your hair out because you know picking you can really start to get breakage in those areas and this is without picking my hair this is without picking my hair but I try to stay away from picking my hair as much as possible and then I've tried to stop stretching my hair with the blow dryer for this year just to kind of change up my regimen and see if I'll see like any type of growth more growth this year and so forth but I wouldn't get this using Eco Styler, and y'all know I love Eco, okay? I'm not bashing Eco, okay? I'm just saying I wouldn't get this without more of a pick, you know, manipulation type of, depending if I'm like, if I'm using the blue gel, which is my boo, and I can't find it, Eco, help me. But if I use the blue gel, I can get a similar look like this. Another thing, I'm not, it's not sponsored. So yeah, y'all, this is, this is different, you know, this is different, like a fro. It's all good, right? You don't always want just super defined hair, right? That's what I'm telling myself. <laughs> Girl, you just going for a different look. It's okay. It's okay. Just get them baby hairs. Come on. Bring it down and swoop. Bring it down and swoop. That's how you make yourself feel better about your hairstyle. You get them baby hairs right. <laughs> them adolescents, okay? And them teenage. You get those together, you know what I mean? Get them in line. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you Ampro Style for sending me this. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys liked it, you guys were entertained. And perhaps maybe you learned something about wash and go etiquette. You know, or whatever. Be sure to like this video. If you did, go ahead and subscribe if you have not, okay? I will see you guys in my next video. You're the one. You are.